Today, we're taking a peek into the world of Joanna Gaines, the design expert who took America by storm on HGTV's Fixer Upper. In recent times, seeing this design genius do her thing on TV has managed to inspire many who might have had second thoughts taking a shot at remodeling their homes. Joanna's journey is much more than just shiplap and white farmhouse sinks. From her multicultural upbringing to her design empire, her story has been a heartwarming story of creativity, resilience, and family. Sometime in 2018, however, things took a different turn when the show went off air, and fans have been wondering what might have gone wrong. Join us as we throw some light on the subject. Our story begins in Wichita, Kansas in 1978. Joanna Stevens, as she was known then, was born into a family rich in cultural diversity. Her mother is Korean, and her father's heritage is a blend of Lebanese and German. This unique background instilled in Joanna a deep appreciation for different aesthetics and traditions, something that would later become a hallmark of her design style. Joanna's childhood was filled with frequent moves, reflecting her family's adventurous spirit. Eventually, they settled in Texas, a place that would become Joanna's home base for years to come. Her diverse route was an opportunity for her to learn diversity at an early stage, but was also a problem for her at a young age when other kids would taunt her for being the only Asian American around. Luckily, Joanna could not be bullied into making herself feel any less than the others. She kept her head up and was able to pull through. And just when Joanna was still really young, just about when she was still 12, she had her first television appearance, appearing in a commercial for her father's business, Firestone Tire Store. This was the beginning of a really successful career for Joanna, and she sounded like one who has always been outspoken and a people person. One thing was sure, Joanna thrived in Texas. She enrolled at Baylor University, a prestigious institution in Waco, and pursued a degree in communications. While communications might seem far removed from design, Joanna's studies honed her communication skills, which would prove invaluable in her future endeavors, molding her into a lovable character that is also well-grounded in her skills. But amidst her academic pursuits, Joanna discovered a passion that would define her career path, and this was when she decided it was time to take a shot at design. She was drawn to the power of creating beautiful and functional spaces, and she began honing her skills through personal projects and side hustles. The most insane thing about Joanna's career in interior design is that she never had any formal training in the field. She just started and became good at it. Over the years, she has been a source of inspiration for anyone who enjoys the show and has been a constant reminder that anyone can do anything once they set their minds to it. In the beginning, she would just take her time arranging her living spaces now and again, and in the process, developed an eye for all things good when it comes to design. After graduating from Baylor, Joanna embarked on a retail career. She worked as a buyer for a local shop where she could surround herself with beautiful objects and curate unique collections. This experience not only deepened her design knowledge, but also instilled in her a keen eye for business. Life took a pivotal turn in 2001 when Joanna met Chip Gaines, who reorganized her from the commercial that she shot for her father's tire shop. Chip, who was a thriving contractor at the time, was instantly smitten. Their connection was undeniable, and they soon married just a couple of years later in 2003. Together, they decided to take a leap of faith and open their own shop, Magnolia Market in Waco. Right from the beginning, both of them seemed to have been really made for each other, given the fact that Joanna was able to jump in with Chip handling the interior designs while he handled the construction work. Together, they built a formidable team and were poised to do even greater things. Magnolia Market wasn't just a store, it was an extension of Joanna's design vision. She filled the space with vintage finds, handcrafted furniture and unique homewares, all reflecting her signature blend of modern farmhouse style. The store quickly gained a loyal following attracting customers who craved Joanna's design aesthetic. While they ran the physical shop, Joanna started thinking of other creative means for her to widen the scope and reach more people. This could also help her gain more relevance. That was when she started a blog, 
where she took up design-related topics, making information available to anyone who needed it. Little did she know that this little venture would be the link to the turning point in her career and that of her husband as well. Well, in 2012, Joanna and Chip's lives took another extraordinary turn. It happened that what Joanna was doing with her blog appealed to a producer who didn't waste time getting in touch with the couple. They were approached by HGTV for a new show concept, which we all know today as Fixer Upper. The show's premise was simple and involved taking dilapidated houses in Waco, renovating them with Joanna's signature style, and transforming them into dream homes for deserving families. This was a challenge that the couple were delighted to take up. Fixer Upper was an instant hit. Viewers were captivated by Joanna and Chip's infectious energy, their genuine love story, and of course, Joanna's incredible design skills. She had a knack for taking outdated spaces and breathing new life into them, often incorporating reclaimed materials and vintage finds. Her signature shiplap walls, open floor plans, and neutral color palettes became a national design trend. Fixer Upper premiered in May of 2013 and was a smash hit HGTV reality show that ran for five seasons from 2013 to 2018. The show's charm lay in the charismatic couple at its heart, Chip and Joanna Gaines. Set in Waco, Texas, the show documented their process of transforming rundown houses or fixer-uppers into stunning dream homes. Many people became inspired by the show and were determined to take up those remodeling projects that they had been putting off for a while. Chip Gaines was the muscle in the show and was the energetic contractor who brought enthusiasm and humor to the show. He led the construction crew, tackling everything from demolition to major renovations. Joanna Gaines, on her part, was the design mastermind and captivated viewers with her impeccable taste and signature farmhouse style. She could envision the potential in a dilapidated home and transform it with shiplap walls, open floor plans, and a neutral color palette. Their teamwork and undeniable chemistry were a major draw for viewers. Outside the joy of seeing beat-up buildings being magically transformed into something out of this world, the feel of originality that viewers got from the couple was also a major attraction for the show. They were just not faking it. They showed all the challenges and how they were able to put their heads together and get things figured out. The show always followed some steps that viewers got used to along the line, which kicked off with the house haunting. During this phase, Chip and Joanna usually presented three potential fixer-uppers to a couple or family searching for a new home in Waco. These houses were often neglected or outdated but held hidden potential. The chosen property became the canvas for their renovation magic. And over the years, picking out three houses kind of became the tradition for similar shows for some reason. Maybe a testament to the undeniable influence the show had at the time. In fact, most beat-up houses, which later get transformed, are called fixer-uppers today. When they have scaled this first step, they move to the most interesting part of the show, where the viewers get first-hand experience of the construction process. Viewers got a behind-the-scenes look at the renovation process, from demolition to construction. Most often, Chip's crew would face unexpected challenges, ranging from structural issues to hidden problems, and tight deadlines. But beyond all that, their dedication and resourcefulness kept the projects moving. For the owners of the Fixer Uppers, the most anticipated part of the show must have been the big reveal, where they get to see the result of their choice. As you would expect, it's always difficult to reconcile the dump that was seen in the beginning with the magnificent result. Joanna's design magic came to life as families entered their newly renovated dream homes. Tears of joy, expressions of awe, and genuine appreciation were typical reactions, creating heartwarming television moments. Just like that, the gains continued to gain more popularity among fans as they continued to touch more lives and create better neighborhoods. One thing that most people might not actually realize early enough is that Fixer Upper wasn't just about the aesthetics. It was about helping families realize their dreams of homeownership tailored to their taste. The show resonated with viewers because it showcased the power of renovation to transform not just a house, 
but also a family's life. Fixer Upper's impact went beyond television ratings. It sparked a national obsession with the farmhouse style and DIY renovations. Joanna Gaines became a design icon, influencing trends and inspiring countless viewers to tackle their own home projects. The show also put Waco, Texas on the map, attracting tourists eager to experience the Magnolia lifestyle inspired by the Gaines. One thing was for sure, Fixer Upper wasn't all smooth sailing. Renovating old houses often presented unexpected challenges, from structural issues to hidden problems. Joanna and Chip faced tight deadlines, demanding clients, and the pressure of filming a successful television show. But through it all, they persevered. Their teamwork, communication skills, and unwavering commitment to their clients shone through. They tackled every obstacle head-on, and in the process, they inspired millions of viewers to embrace renovation projects and create their own dream homes. But later, it turned out that there was just so much anyone could take. Along with the television show, Joanna and her husband never stopped building the Magnolia Empire. So they were tasked with taking care of their business, running the show, and also taking care of the demands of a growing family. So, after five successful seasons, Joanna and Chip decided to step away from Fixer Upper in 2018. The news came as a shock to their audience, as it seemed things were going well with the show. Everyone was expecting that it would be one of those shows that would run for decades. But things don't usually work out. According to the reports that we got from the couple, they said that they just wanted to focus on their growing family and burgeoning business empire, Magnolia. At this point, Magnolia was more than just a store. It had become a full-fledged lifestyle brand, growing into aspects other than the decor store that it originally started as. Joanna's gained popularity must have been a major boost for the business, and it has been an upward move ever since. Joanna, with her keen business sense, spearheaded the expansion of Magnolia. They have the Magnolia Silos, which was opened in 2016. Joanna and Chip opened Magnolia Silos, which is a sprawling complex that encompassed their original store alongside new shops, restaurants, bakery, and event spaces. Magnolia Silos became a pilgrimage destination for fans, attracting tourists from all over the country who craved a taste of the Magnolia lifestyle. Also, they have the Magnolia Market at the Silos, which is a dreamland for interior decorators. Building on the success of Magnolia Silos, Joanna launched Magnolia Market at the Silos, a curated shopping experience featuring a variety of vendors selling homewares, apparel, gifts, and Magnolia-branded merchandise. In all that was going on with Joanna, she never gave up on her writing and also launched the Magnolia Journal in 2016. The Magnolia Journal is a quarterly lifestyle magazine. Filled with inspiring stories, design tips, and recipes, the magazine offered a deeper look into Joanna's creative world and connected with readers on a personal level. This was definitely a way to make what she has learned over the years available to the public to benefit like-minded people. Given that the couple have spent most of their time together hunting for houses to flip, it shouldn't come as a surprise that they founded the Magnolia Real Estate also. Recognizing the power of location and the desire for a true Magnolia experience, Joanna and Chip launched Magnolia Real Estate. This venture allowed them to help clients find their dream homes in Waco and connect them with the resources to renovate them in the signature Magnolia style. So, despite not moving on with the show, they sure still carry on with the spirit of the show and are not likely to stop anytime soon. Joanna's talents extend beyond television and retail. She's a prolific writer, having authored several best-selling books on design, including The Magnolia Story, Magnolia Table, and Homebody. These books offer readers a glimpse into Joanna's design philosophy, her love for family and home, and her journey. Joanna has also collaborated with leading brands on design projects. She partnered with Kills to create a line of paint colors inspired by her signature palette and partnered with Anthropology on a home decor collection. Joanna Gaines remains a force in the design world and a role model for aspiring entrepreneurs. The Magnolia brand continues to thrive, offering a one-stop shop for home decor, lifestyle products, and experiences. 
Joanna is constantly innovating and expanding Magnolia into new ventures. So there you have it. Joanna Gaines's journey is a testament to hard work, talent, and staying true to your vision. From her multicultural upbringing to her design empire, Joanna's story is one of following your dreams and creating a beautiful life for yourself and your loved ones. What are your favorite Joanna Gaines design projects? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for more inspiring content.